Stop asking God for deliverance and start asking God for development. Welcome to Living Purified. My name is Debbie and this is my online journaling to living a pure life with my mind, body, and spirit for Jesus Christ. Living a pure life, you got to get this mind together. You got to get this together. And so there's a couple of things that I really did like that we should focus on in the new year. But honestly, at any point in time throughout the year or any season that you're in, these are great points to remember. And I'm going to actually reflect on some of these things too. Here's some suggestions. There's six of them. The first one is to pray to God for wisdom. Wisdom is always something that we always need. And the Bible verse that goes with it is actually in James. James 1 and 5 simply says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. We all know about wisdom, but that is something that we definitely should be asking God for. The second thing that they suggest is actually pray for wisdom as to how to fulfill the goals that God gives to you. So it's great to get the wisdom, but you got to get the application. So that's what that, that part is about. The third resolution is actually relying on God's strength to actually help you. So, okay, now you know how to do it. You know you need the wisdom. Now you got the knowledge. Now you're going to need some strength. You're going to need some some horsepower to, to get this going and realizing that God's going to really need to be a part of this process no matter what area of your life that you're trying to focus on. The fourth resolution is finding an accountability partner who will help you and encourage you. People are needed. God created us to be very social. Not all the time. But at the same time, we were not supposed to walk this walk alone. And so finding accountability partner, I really love that idea because I have been doing that in every life, every area of my life personally. And I think that that's really important to focus on who can I draw close to this year or just any time of my my um, my life that will really help pour into me and what God is trying to do within my life. The other thing they suggest is do not get discouraged with occasional failures. Instead, allow them to motivate you further. Honestly, if you're not failing, that means you're not doing enough. That's one thing I love. I love to listen to like a lot of business podcasts and motivational things. But the guy was like, every day try to fail because that means you're doing things outside of your comfort zone. And that's what God wants to do. He wants to grow us and push us. God never likes us staying in our comfort zone. And sometimes he'll put things and opportunities to get us out of what's comfortable. And that's one thing I realized with God. If you're really in tune with him and you really let him be the drive of your life, he's going to get things out of you. And one thing that my pastor was talking about is stop asking God for deliverance and start asking God for development. The last resolution they mentioned is do not become proud or vain, but give God the glory. So whenever you do get these accomplishments, I'm not saying don't give yourself a pat on the back, but also make sure that you thank God. You let people know that this was this was me, but also God, I was praying. I had other people. I was doing what I need to do. I was being disciplined. I was in my word or whatever it is that you're focused on. But these are resolutions that are really great. The last scripture they go over is in Psalms 37, 5 and 6. Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act. He will bring forth righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. The reason why I really like this is it's kicking off the new year. It gets your mindset. I'm ready to continue to have the right mindset going into this new year and this new season. Yes, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. And honestly, I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't think any of us really knows what's going on. And we're in the middle of this political climate. But trusting in God, these wisdoms having accountability, realizing that sometimes you're going to fail. These are all great things to think and reflect on and get your mind pure and ready to do what God has for you to do. And I'm so excited to see what God has for me um, in this season and in this new year. So thank you again for watching Living Purified. My name is Debbie and I'll see you.